Do you know that most of the canned tuna that we eat is caught by large vessels called purse seiners, and that one of the methods used to catch the tuna is to fish in association with dolphins? Do you know that this fishing method is considered to be one of the cleanest, most selective fisheries in the world because most of the dolphins are released unharmed and there is little other wasteful bycatch resulting from this method of tuna fishing? In the Eastern Pacific Ocean, EPO, schools of yellowfin tuna are often found swimming under herds of dolphins. Fishermen use this association as a visual cue for the presence of large, mature yellowfin tuna swimming below. To catch the tuna, they carefully encircle the dolphin herd with a purse seine net. This method of fishing used to be controversial because of the high mortality of dolphins that it caused decades ago. But nowadays, this fishery is rigorously regulated and is an excellent model of how international cooperation can mitigate and resolve environmental impacts. The EPO fishery operates under the regime of a rigorous multilateral agreement called the Agreement on the International Dolphin Conservation Program, AIDCP. The objectives of the AIDCP are to reduce the incidental mortality of dolphins in the purse seine fishery for tunas in the Eastern Pacific Ocean, and to ensure the long-term sustainability of tuna stocks and other marine resources, thus guaranteeing the sustainable management of the marine ecosystem in the EPO. The implementations of these goals are obligatory to all the nations that fish within the EPO who have bound themselves to this responsible fishing regime. The AIDCP has evolved from more than 20 years of multilateral cooperation and represents an unprecedented commitment by the nations and their tuna fleets who participate in this international fishery. El APIC se hizo como un acuerdo entre una cantidad de países y de organizaciones tanto ambientales como de la industria para reducir la mortalidad de delfines a límites que fueran aceptables para todo el mundo. Creo que el, el éxito de eso ha sido bien claro. Los, se fijaron límites y la mortalidad ha estado mmm, como 80% por debajo de esos límites todos los años. Se ha mantenido baja por más o menos 20 años. Cuando el programa empezó, we were still, while it had been reduced from the early days of hundreds of thousands of dolphins dying, you were still down in the tens of thousands. And there, we've reduced it significantly from there, so we're consistently below a thousand now. So I think it's a program that should be proud of its success. Ha permitido la sostenibilidad de las poblaciones de atunes y especies asociadas a esta pesquería, ¿no? lo que está contribuyendo y va de la mano con lo que es el enfoque ecosistémico. Esto fue un esfuerzo mancomunado eh, que vienen realizando eh, tanto la industria como los gobiernos, los científicos de hace mucho tiempo para garantizarle realmente al consumidor que están consumiendo un atún realmente Dolphin Sea, un atún libre de muerte de delfines. Although data are scarce, it is generally acknowledged that from the 1950s through the 1980s, the mortality of dolphins caught incidentally in the tuna purse seine fishery in the EPO was unacceptably high, possibly more than 150,000 animals per year. With the implementation of the La Jolla Agreement in 1992, which preceded the AIDCP, the trend on the reduction in mortality was continued and reaffirmed, ranging from 15,000 dolphins to 801 in 2013, from a population of over 10 million. Many scientists think that the current levels of mortality are so low that they do not have negative effects on the dolphin populations as a whole. Furthermore, this method of fishing now affords greater protection to the EPO marine ecosystem, since it results in sharply lower levels of bycatch of other species, like sharks and sea turtles. This technique also contributes to the efficient utilization of yellowfin tuna stocks, because only large, mature tuna are caught a strategy that maximizes the sustainable yield of the stock. There's substantial evidence that the uh, dolphin populations in the Eastern Pacific are recovering. The IATTC recently had their methodology reviewed by Dr. Andre Punt, who is the director of the School of Aquatic Sciences and Fisheries at the University of Washington. He's a leader in uh, fishery stock assessment and marine mammal assessment. Based on his recommendations, we used methods that analyze the um, fishery independent survey data and they showed substantial evidence that the populations are recovering. Our calculations would indicate that if we had only harvest 
of yellowfin tuna associated with dolphins that we would improve the maximum sustainable yield by about 20% in comparison to the current mix of gears. The other aspect of the dolphin associated harvest in comparison to on the other set types is that the bycatch is the, is the least um, on this one. It's, it has the least amount of fish that are bycatch and least amount of turtles that are, that are bycatch. Uh, so from that standpoint, it's a more ecologically responsible mode of fishing than some of the other set types. Keenly aware of the problem of the high level of dolphin mortality in the early years of the EPO per seine fishery, fishermen and governments work diligently to develop and implement methods for reducing the mortality. Three factors have contributed to the great reduction in dolphin mortalities. The development of new techniques for protecting and releasing dolphins, improvements in the fishing gear, associated equipment and release procedures, as well as the heightened awareness and commitment of the fishers to protect dolphins. Es una red que tiene la malla más chica. Es una es una malla más chica. Entonces, eso es para que el delfín no meta su nariz o su trompa en la en la en la malla y se atore ahí. Es una parte de de la, de la red que se usa para eso mismo, para hacer el retroceso. La, el, el otro tramo de red, el otro tramo de red es, es malla más grande, es malla más grande y ahí sí el delfín se puede atorar. Por eso mismo se acerca hasta que está en el paño marina. Es cuando se empieza a hacer el retroceso, la, la, la liberación de, de los delfines. Let's see how tuna are caught using this fishing method and what is done to avoid harm to the dolphins. The first step of the process involves locating a herd of dolphins and determining whether a school of tuna is associated with it. Most vessels carry helicopters for this purpose. The dolphins are herded by speedboats until they can be encircled with the vessel's purse seine net. The net used for fishing in association with dolphins contains a special panel of small mesh netting called the Medina panel, which protects the dolphin's nose from becoming entangled in the net and drowning. Once the dolphins and tunas are fully encircled, the net is drawn shut at the bottom like a purse, securing the tuna catch. The vessel then commences the back down maneuver. The boat operates slowly in reverse, forming the net into a long, narrow channel and causing the far end of the net containing the Medina panel to sink several meters below the surface. Most of the dolphins are freed as the canal that is formed by the net passes underneath them, while some others may jump out of the net. Any remaining dolphins that may remain are then helped by divers who are stationed on rafts waiting to guide the dolphins to safety. Once all the dolphins have been safely released from the net, the net containing the tuna is brought on board the vessel. Lo más importante de la PIC es que es el programa internacional de conservación de recursos marinos mejor elaborado y mejor manejado del mundo. ¿Por qué digo esto? Porque es un programa que está basado realmente en la sustentabilidad de los recursos. Toma en cuenta el estado de las poblaciones de delfines que están asociados o involucrados en la pesquería del atún y toma en cuenta también el estado de los recursos atuneros. Tiene límites eh, de mortalidad globales para los delfines que están basados en las mejores estimaciones, en la mejor metodología disponible y todavía usamos ahí algunos principios de precaución que reducen esa, ese límite global. Tiene límites para los buques, tiene, tiene reglas y requisitos para los capitanes de pesca que son obligatorios y que mantienen el estándar del trabajo de los buques. Entonces todo esto permite que tengamos un programa que realmente está basado en principios científicos, eh, toma en cuenta el ecosistema, ya que esta pesquería también tiene muy pocos descartes y dentro del acuerdo de delfines, del acuerdo para la conservación y protección de los delfines, también está considerado que se maneje el ecosistema y las especies que están este, asociadas con la pesquería de atún eh, del Pacífico Oriental. Todo esto lo hace el mejor programa que hay en el mundo. Ninguno ha sido diseñado y elaborado como este. All the nations that participate in the fishery have committed to implementing the AIDCP and to apply severe measures for non-compliance. The 16 parties to the agreement are Belize, Bolivia, Colombia, 
Costa Rica, Ecuador, El Salvador, the European Union, Guatemala, Honduras, Mexico, Nicaragua, Panama, Peru, the United States, Vanuatu, and Venezuela. One of the fundamental tools of the AIDCP is a rigorous catch monitoring scheme, which ensures compliance with the agreed rules and procedures. The AIDCP tuna tracking program allows processors and consumers to verify that tuna was caught without killing or seriously injuring dolphins and can thus be certified as AIDCP dolphin safe tuna. This dolphin safe certification program is based on 100% coverage by trained scientific observers on board all vessels authorized to fish for tuna associated with dolphins. The observers monitor and report on every set and confirm that all procedures are followed and that dolphin safe tuna is kept separate from any non-dolphin safe tuna that may be loaded on board the vessel. Furthermore, the AIDCP's rigorous tracking and verification system ensures the integrity of dolphin safe tuna from the time it is caught and throughout the unloading, storing, processing, canning, and selling of the tuna. Additionally, under the agreement, all possible violations recorded by an onboard observer are reviewed by the International Review Panel, IRP, an AIDCP body composed of representatives from governments, the tuna industry, and environmental NGOs. The IRP evaluates the cases and, where warranted, forwards them to the government under whose flag the vessel operates. The IRP process adds another level of vigilance and transparency unique to the AIDCP and the EPO fishery. As a result of this great conservation and management effort by the fishermen and the nations, the Perth Seine fishery for tunas associated with dolphins in the EPO has become one of the most sustainable fisheries in the world. The successful AIDCP program was recognized in 2005 by the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, with the Margarita Lizarraga Medal, recognizing the AIDCP as a model agreement for sustainable and responsible fisheries. The LATPIC is a model to follow. For us, it is a model, and that's why we give this medal, a recognition for this work, because, as I say, reducing more than 130,000, almost 140,000 incidental captures of dolphins in the 80s, with 1,100 that were reported in 2011, are really numbers that are very attractive. And, además, it has been produced since 1994. It's a work that has been continued, and it's a work that really requires a lot of coordination, a lot of work, a lot of information from the actors involved, as I say, the captains, the tripulations, the same government. It's really needed a lot of coordination with the ONGs, who are working in the medio ambient, y nosotros por eso les, les, les reconocemos, les seguimos apoyando y cuenten con nosotros. It is important that the world knows about the success of these cooperative multilateral efforts and is aware of the investment and commitment behind every can of tuna that carries the AIDCP Dolphin Safe label. This label ensures consumers that the tuna was caught without deaths or serious injuries of dolphins, thus protecting the marine environment for future generations. Uno de los grandes honores y reconocimientos que ha tenido el APICD es haber sido ganador de la medalla Margarita Lizárraga por ser una pesca responsable. Y una pesca responsable tiene varios significados. Uno de ellos es que es respetuosa con el, con el medio ambiente, que es respetuosa en este caso con los delfines, con los ecosistemas marinos y que además es transparente. Recordemos que las otras certificaciones y, el, y otros acuerdos que operan la pesquería de Tunidos no tienen el grado de transparencia que la PICD tiene. There are so many different labels and consumers need to understand what they are. One good thing about the AIDCP label is, is that it, it has a robust tracking uh, system so that uh, one can believe what, what that label is. Generally speaking, we, we, we believe in uh, uh, a free market for the consumers to decide uh, what labels uh, are good for them. Existe hoy en día para la tranquilidad de ellos la posibilidad de consumir un producto que tiene todo un proceso de control, de medidas técnicas, de investigación científica, de una administración que es compartida entre varios países, que le garantiza a ese consumidor que ese producto o esa especie que es capturada viene de una pesca responsable. Y que dentro de la sociedad pues es muy importante que todo lo que nosotros consumamos venga precisamente de actividades productivas que se manejen 
con mucha responsabilidad, con mucha ciencia y tecnología, pero sobre todo con una administración eficiente en lo que en los objetivos de un programa de ordenamiento de las de la pescas. Definitivamente está basada en ciencias, algo que ninguna otra etiqueta puede hacer. Nosotros podemos evidenciar de qué manera estamos ayudando a la conservación, a la protección a, del delfín y de otras especies. Lo podemos decir, lo podemos enseñar, lo podemos evidenciar con estadísticas, con ciencia. Eso no lo puede hacer ninguna otra etiqueta en este momento. Consumers should demand that all fisheries devote the same level of dedication, verification, and vigilance that is shown by the fishermen and nations that adhere to the AIDCP.